Andy Reid is a remarkably innovative play caller and play designer. And I would imagine he takes this into account. I would imagine that over the next nearly two weeks, he is tweaking the offense and tweaking the scheme and tweaking what they do or what they want to do based on understanding, okay, we might have a weakness again on this offensive line. I don't think it's necessarily a huge deal that the Chiefs are down three offensive line starters because they found a way to get this far without two of those guys. So that part of it is not that big a deal. It's losing Fisher and now having to respond, but you have two weeks to do so. So I think one part of that is how do you figure out a way to protect Mahomes for just a little bit longer without keeping Travis Kelsey in because Kelsey's got to be a pass catching weapon. He has to be. So what do you do on the offensive line that will help you? It's going to have to take something like keeping in a running back instead of having him drift out into the into the flat for pass catching. It's going to take maybe perhaps quicker reads underneath stuff, not as much downfield stuff if you feel like you're not getting as much time in the pocket for Mahomes. And it'll also take Mahomes being aware constantly of not allowing that pressure to force him into interceptions or force him into fumbles, sack recoveries, etc. I think what I saw on Sunday that can be absolutely utilized by the Chiefs is a lot of that underneath passing where it felt like the Bills' corners and defensive backs were kind of staying off Tyreek Hill and staying off Travis Kelsey, perhaps not to get beaten over top, certainly by Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs just ate him up underneath. And it felt like every time that he threw to either Kelsey or Hill, they were about five yards in the clear with nobody around them. So if you're going to try to design more, more plays without a lot of time to develop, you're hoping for underneath stuff, maybe misdirection, and that the Chiefs will hopefully, in their estimation, can take advantage of that. And that comes down to whether the Buccaneers' defensive backs can stick and the linebackers can stick closer than the Bills were able to.